Intel HD graphics are notorious for their subpar gaming performance. Even the latest Intel HD 630 and KB Lake can't really play games at 1080p. However, I, I have a PC that has the precursor to Intel HD graphics. Yes, the precursor. It's the Intel G43 Express chipset and this Dell computer that I have here. Now this computer has a Core 2 Duo E8600, 4GB of DDR2 RAM running at 800MHz and a 250GB hard drive and a power supply that I fear is going to be causing a fiery explosion at my house. Seriously, take a listen to this thing. Well, besides this computer being a fire hazard, I was kind of curious to see if these graphics were capable of running any modern games. I mean, I think it is pretty obvious this won't be running any, you know, AAA games, like, at all. But maybe it has a chance to shine in some lighter titles? Um, I don't know. Let's, uh, let's find out. So with that said, I first decided to test the game that people say will run on anything, like even a calculator. And uh, that game was League of Legends, so at 720p, lowest settings possible, we were able to get an average of 23 FPS with dropping to 17 when things got heated and climbing all the way to 44 frames per second when we were at the home base. Now I should also mention that there was tons of micro stuttering, making the game just like impossible to play, like the, there was tons of like input lag and it was just... It was not a very fun experience, my teammates were getting pissed off at me too, so uh, yeah. So next up was Left 4 Dead 2, um, so the Intel graphics managed 21 FPS on average, with it dropping to 11 when there were zombies everywhere, and almost hitting that magic 60 frames per second, but not quite, and uh, like League of Legends, I'd also like to mention um, tons of micro stuttering. It just, it, the game, again, lots of input lag, it was just, it was really hard to like move, and like determine what I was doing in the game and it was not, again, like League of Legends, not a very fun experience. So for the next game I decided to test something much older and that was the very first Fear. But even though Fear is such like an old game, it still proved challenging for the Intel graphics. So at 720p, lowest settings, we only got 22 FPS. That's kind of a theme. This uh, graphics only seems to be able to get like 22 or 20-ish frames on average, but anyways, it, it uh, dropped to 19, it only went up to 28. Uh, you know, like League of Legends, stuttering. So yeah, unplayable. So the last 3D game I tried was Who's Your Daddy? A game that I thought would run on literally any computer ever made. Not literally, but you know, any, mo any computer in like the past 10 years. Um, or 15 years, but... <laughs> Um, but I, I was surprised, not in a good way. Um, 720p, lowest settings possible, the game looked like a PlayStation or N64 game. Uh, 16 FPS on average. Um, so yeah, this thing just does not like 3D games of any kind. It's like it's allergic to polygons or some weird shit. But how about some 2D type games? Well, uh, I did test some two-dimensional games, and the first one I tested was Super Hexagon. At 1080p, it was a complete mess. Uh, 27 FPS on average, again, stuttering everywhere. Um, unplayable, completely unplayable. This is a game that requires fast reflexes, and let me tell you something, this was not playable at all. And I'm actually pretty good at this game, but with my best effort, I was only able to get 18 seconds. So, the hardest difficulty, but it was like... Ah, was not fun. It was not a very fun experience, but uh, yeah. So is there any game that this will run over 60 frames per second on this piece of trash excuse for a graphics solution? Well, actually, yes there is. I found a game that would run over 60 frames per second, and that game was Hyphen. This is a 
pretty strange game actually, but uh, 1080p, low settings, it managed 64 frames per second with a mind-numbingly high maximum of 184 frames per second. I didn't even think this thing was capable of pushing out that many frames at once. Another game that ran really well, surprisingly, was uh, Castle Crashers. At 1080p with high settings, it produced 55 FPS on average, and it was very playable. Um, 10 FPS minimum, which I never really found, um, or never really noticed, and uh, 63 FPS max, astonishing, to be honest. I, I really didn't think it would run Castle Crashers all that well, but it did, and that surprised me. So there you go. This Intel GPU, which I am going to nickname Intel Standard Definition Graphics, was probably never good when it was released and is even worse in 2017. But just for fun and nostalgia, I decided to test one more game, and that game was Arma 2. So for Arma 2, I had to turn the resolution down all the way to 640 by 480 and the render scale to 50%, effectively making this game running at 320 by 240 or 240p and all the other settings were at the lowest so doing all this the intel sd graphics got 25 frames per second most of the time with it going to 42 when looking at the ground and 10 fps when there was an explosion now the reason i mentioned nostalgia a minute ago was that this was the first computer that i actually used when i tried to play day z uh you know, the DayZ mod back when it was new. Yeah, this is how I played DayZ when it first came out, and uh, yeah, I don't I don't really know how I put up with it, but somehow I did, <laughs> so... Uh, anyways, if you like seeing this just travesty of a graphics solution uh, get tested and fail miserably at running some games, uh, leave a like, and if you didn't, well, then hit the upside down like button, and don't forget to subscribe, because that would well, I would appreciate it if you subscribed. I'll be doing more stuff like this in the future. So yeah, thanks for watching, and uh, I'll see you later.